Uh, hi, I'm Bill. So hopefully I didn't get a copyright strike. I've been looking for different music, right? I mean, I dig Intrepid Adventurers in all their glory. Uh, my band. But, you know, it, it seems like it's high time for something else, something new, some other kind of music. So I was using all lowercase letters. For a while, they, uh, they allowed me to use their music. But, you know, I want to change it up here and there. Uh, I will come back. I will come back to Intrepid Adventure. I will come back to all lowercase letters uh, presently. So I found on Bandcamp, um, I've got the little thingamajig. Let's see if I can find it. Here it is. Yeah. Typed in Royalty Free Music Productions. This is a sort of a studio. And that's what I was just listening to. Um, the tracks are high. It's called High Energy by Royalty Free Music Productions. They got 13 tracks. You can buy them and all that crap. Um, and from what my little cursory... Uh, what am I trying to say? I tested them out. It seemed about half to three quarters of them were actually pretty good. Like that's that one was called Determination, and Determination is dirty. That was a dirty track, baby. I might try to listen to some of that. Hi. So I want to say uh, thanks to the Patreon people and all the goodness. James Johnston, Ember Alaria, and Natalia Klein. Thank you guys so much for the Patreons. Patreon.com slash chess with boom. Any of you want to jump in that? Okay. So this is the chatting portion of my channel. I had an interesting conversation. I'm going to continue talking since nobody's on right now. <laughs> I had an interesting conversation uh, with a fellow about what could improve this channel um, other than a new intro and me getting better at chess. A better intro, okay, and me getting better at chess, sure. But I started deliberating with myself on what is this channel actually trying to do? Like, obviously, it's, it's entertaining, you know, to see me lose my mind and blunder till the cows come home. That's fine. That'll continue. Have no fear. But is there something else I can do with the channel? And I had a few ideas. I'm going to try them out tonight. This will all be in an intro at some point, I think. We'll see. We'll see if I deign to actually do it. If I get 300 subscribers, I'll do it. How about that? That's a good thing to say, actually. We're at 254. You know what? If I get to 300 subscribers, <laughs> you guys are like, oh, God, he must get to 300. Therefore, if I get to 300 subscribers, I will make a new sexy video. You know what? And if I get to 500 subscribers, which is my goal right now, maybe I'll have, like, no cursing streams. And not all the time. Not all the time. I got to get to 1,000 maybe to do that. 500, because so some of the subscribers, my subs, my my constituents, if you will, were like, you should really stop stop cursing, Bill. You should really stop. It's, it's not okay. And I was like, what the fuck? Come on, that's my whole thing. But you know what? Rewards, people. Get to a thousand subscribers. It's not that many. It is for me. It is for me though. A thousand subscribers. We'll have like maybe an entire month of no cursing. Just with Bill. We'll see what we can do with it. Anyway, if we get to three hundred, I will make a new intro. Okay. All that said, here are my ideas. Why am I doing chess with Bill? Why indeed, you ask. Uh, well, to play and improve, clearly, although I really, I have gotten better. I have gotten better, just not much, to learn. Now, 
here's an idea to learn what, obviously to improve on chess, but I started thinking to learn from what I struggle with, okay? That's good because that's how I'm going to learn. But also, maybe to learn things like, how do you analyze a chess game? Uh, how, how can, what, what's a good way to actually study chess? Because I studied chess and you can do it the wrong way. I've done it the wrong way. You guys probably have too. How do you analyze a game? How do you study your own games or just study in general? How do you learn to not make blunders? I mean, it seems like a pretty easy thing. Just don't do it. It's right there in front of you. Just don't do it. But how do you do it? Obviously, we make blunders. <clears throat> how to actually utilize time. Now, I will come at this from a rapid uh, perspective. So like 10-minute, 15-minute games. Or even longer but I, i'm not i'm not i'm not going to get into the lower lower time games why you ask literally everything i've read about getting better at chess has has said if you want to get better play longer games okay um back on learning over the board versus online these are two completely different things uh and then something that i would like to learn is tournaments I've been to a few tournaments. It's been a long time. I've played in online tournaments mostly. Um, and I've been over the board, been to over the board tournaments. But there's a whole process for that. Like, do you have to have, do you have to register with FIDE or something? Do you, you got to wear a, you know, a button down shirt? Like what, what do you do? Can you drink? <laughs> Can you talk to the person ab across the board? Like there's a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, you know, to learn. Reviewing games. I'm talking about other people's games. This is something that I'm I'm gonna start doing a little bit. What's up, Sam? I'm shaking, man. I'm talking about I've I've been ruminating on what to do with this channel, and I'm going through uh ideas. Reviewing other people's games. So this is talking about like masters games. So uh, I, I I will analyze my own, you know, my own awesome spectacular games. But they say analyze the grand masters and such. And other than Agamator's channel, I really don't do that. Uh a little bit in Gotham Chess, but pretty much they're spoon feeding you what it is. How do you do it yourself? So I th I'm thinking about doing some of that. And uh, we'll see how prepared I am for it. It'll probably be me looking at the game with a chess engine. It's a good question. How does one analyze a chess game? Other than looking at it and being like, how the fuck does... What the... Then you use an engine, but at what depth, you know, is actually useful. And there's a point where the engine thinks like an engine. It doesn't think like... A, you know, a person brain. You know what I'm saying? Etiquette. Chess etiquette. And history. And history. This is a thing. Chess is a... Uh, I want to say gentleman's game, but, that you know, that, that, that qualifies it in a gender. It is primarily, you know, dudes. But let me suffice to say, what, what is another word for this? There's etiquette to chess. A, uh, I'm thinking aficionado. High class. A gentle person. <laughs> it doesn't have the same ring. We need a good word for that. Chess is a, it is a game that has class. How about that? It's a classy game. What's the etiquette for it? Because there's a lot of fucking assholes who play chess? A lot of people I know who won't play chess on online do so because, you know, they don't want to get pwned. Where'd the etiquette go? What is the etiquette We need to teach the masses? What's the history of chess? Why does that matter? One, because I'm interested in it. But two, because, you know, you learn from history and all that shit. 
I think I should analyze a game uh, at a rating that you get, you want to get to. Oh, fair enough, Sam. God, fucking nice. It's a good idea. I'm stealing that idea right now. Analyzing games. So check this out. Reviewing. I, I'm distinct. I'm making a distinction between analyzing my own games and then reviewing other people's games. I know it's a stupid distinction, but it's in my notes. So reviewing um, games of ELO, I want to reach. So like sort of like a goal ELO. Obviously, we all want to be like 3,000. ELO 3,000. But you know, for me, my rapid rating is like 900. So I need to be maybe looking at what, 1,200, 1,400 or something? 1,200, I think, is still class E. Maybe a little bit higher than that. See, because analyzing a master game with uh, an engine, it's kind of pointless. But maybe you could analyze a game that someone sends you. God, full of freaking good ideas. Send me games. What? But only subs. Oh man, that's good. That's good. You're stealing my thunder. <laughs> no, keep keep these good ideas coming. I'm okay with that. Yeah, see what I'm saying? So I could on the live stream review analyze uh, a game that someone sent me, and then we can talk about it. Um based around an ELO that's achievable in the short term or midterm, you know? I think it is achievable if I really put my mind to it to go from 900 to 11 or 1200. Why? Because I've, I've been there and I don't know, maybe I'm whatever. doesn't matter. Last but not least, without the engine, you say? Oh, what is this? And that person could tell you a move number with an Easter egg tactic or something you can find while analyzing. That's really good. Did you just come up with this? You should stream. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's not bad. Hold on. Let me write that down. My notes are shit now. Without an engine. Ooh, Easter egg. Easter egg tactic. It's badass, man. Okay. Okay. All right, Sam. Uh, you're uploading videos. Wait, what? Not able, my road to... Oh, I see. You don't stream, but you're uploading your videos now. What's ABT? Oh, about your road to National Master. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. Well, uh, what's your... I guess it's Sam, right? Sorry, I'm like totally talking to the chat here. What's your What's your YouTube thing? You can put your handle in there. I don't think you can put the URL. Anyway, last but not least, um, so Sam, to, to, to mention, well, to recap for you, another idea of the channel is to learn and, and how to learn. So how to manage time, how to, how to manage tournaments, like what is, what do you do? How do you, how do you, how do you go about that? Um, the differences between over the board and online, you know, how do you manage time? How do you study? Like, what's a proper way of doing it? Okay, and last but not least, past etiquette and history, little anecdotes, is community. Community. Right. Arguably, I care more about the community. <laughs> Fucking hate that word. The community that is that we're building here, uh, then I do the chess, which is just the, it's just the truth. I like meeting people and actually building relationships. I would rather go to tournaments and be the shittiest player, but know everybody, and be on cool terms and like go out to eat. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's way more important, um, and that's how it is. So community, and I decided on a few ideas here. 
Be cool. That's right. I'm going to make t-shirts and everything. Have my fucking face on it. Be cool. Be kind. It's pretty generic. I think the Y files might say something along those lines, which you haven't seen. If you have not seen the Y files, W H Y files, it's really cool. It's a YouTube channel. Be cool. Be kind. Be tough. Be real. Yeah. Lame when I say it out loud. Sounded really cool or looked really cool when I wrote it. Be cool. Be kind. Be tough. Be real. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I'll work on it. 